breaking news waves has gone subscription that is right folks waves has now gone 100 subscription so that means when a new waves plugin comes out no longer will you be able to just purchase that singular new plugin for 29 dollars now you're gonna have to be subscribed to one of uh one of their new plans so it's going to be called waves creative access and there are two different plans currently there's the essential plan and the ultimate plan uh, as far as differences it's basically the amount of plugins 110 in this one 220 in that one now we'll get into this a little bit more but if we do a quick breakdown of uh of the numbers here so if we go with like waves ultimate which is now the top thing so Mercury, of course, used to be the top, uh, you know, bundle. Mercury's gone, folks. Uh, gold is gone. Diamond is gone. All the Abbey Road things, all that stuff is gone. So all of those bundles are gone, and uh, we're not going to be able to update them uh, either, which is sort of weird. And I'm not sure why they did that. Uh, somebody who owns two licenses for Mercury uh, that are now stuck on version 12 and version 14 and unable to ever be updated. Kind of weird, but, uh, you know, for brand new people, this actually breaks out to be a pretty good deal. So before we get into it anymore, just real quick for what it costs. So it's uh, $24.99 a month. We're going 220 plugins. So we'll just say 25 divided by 220. That's giving you around 11.3 cents, 11.4 cents per plugin per month. Now, of course, you don't own it but to get access to it, 11 cents. So we take that and we times that by 12, and that breaks down to about $1.36 per plugin per year. Now that sounds pretty good. You know, it's actually, it actually sounds pretty cheap. Of course, it would be cheaper if you could break out and use just the plugins that you want, but you're gonna have to use all 220 or at least have access to all 220. But as far as breaking it down by the numbers there, you know, $1.36 per plugin, per year again for brand new people it's actually a really good deal because i'm sure a lot of people when they get into audio they would get in there and uh take advantage of those waves sales at 29.99 each and you know you're you know you're into you're getting into audio you're probably buying i don't know maybe two of these plugins per month so you're spending 59.98 per month for two plugins well now you're spending you know half that for 220 plugins. Um, I understand there's something different because you don't actually own the license, but uh, in a way with Waves plugins, for those who don't know, Waves plugins have always been tied to the WUP plan, W-U-P, the Waves update plan or whatever it was. Uh, so for example, if you had a plugin and it was on version 13, right? And then you... Uh, you know, there was, a, there was an update to version 14. Well, guess what? Unless you had an active WUP, you didn't get the new version of that plugin. Now, 99% of the time, that plugin would not contain anything new, right? <laughs> the interface would be the same. Uh, it would sound exactly the same. It would, just be, it would just be like a new shell, the new version 14 shell or whatever version it was. And maybe they would add things like resizable interfaces, but in general, Waves, a lot of Waves plugins don't really get updates to the algorithms going on in the background, other than maybe, you know, I should say they don't really get feature updates. They might get some sort of operational updates, but in general, they're not adding new features to the plugins. But you might need, you know, you might need the current version of that plugin to run on your current modern operating system. That's more of a problem on the Mac side than it is the Windows side. You know, you can use you can use version nine plugins. I'm on Windows 11. I can easily use version nine plugins uh, on Windows 11. I can probably use them until Windows is no longer a thing. So it's more of a Mac thing, really, where especially with the switch to Apple Silicone, um, you know, a lot of those guys aren't able to use their plugins because they weren't uh, compatible. So they all had to do the uh, all had to do the whoop. So anyway, I said all of that to basically say this. If you're new again, if you're new. Uh, that $24.99 or $14.99 is kind of a good deal. It's essentially, you can essentially think of this plan as a forced WUP, right? That's essentially what it is. It's you're being forced to WUP whether you want it or not, right? Because without WUPing, 
you're not even going to have access to the plugin. That's essentially what Waves Creative Access is. So you're going to you know you're going to get 220 plugins, all the updates. You'll get new plugins whenever they are released. Now again, folks, th this is you know you're you're subscribing. You're not owning these things, okay? Um, but again, you, the only way to get access to the new plugins is to have an active Waves Creative Access plan. And as soon as the plan, you know, if you if you don't subscribe, you don't resubscribe after your time runs out, then uh, everything stops. You can't use your, you, know, you can't use your plugins anymore. Now, I personally don't really mind you know plugin subscriptions. I'm not a huge fan of DAW subscriptions. You know, it, and unless you already have like a perpetual, you know. I don't really care that much about plugins necessarily being subscription only just because there are so many plugins included with whether it's, you know, uh, Studio One or whatever DW that you have. There's so many stock plugins already included that, you know, you, you don't technically need the Waves plugins. You don't technically need the Plugin Alliance or the Isotope. You don't technically need them. You have you really have everything you need contained in your DAW. However, you know, things like the Waves plugins, the you know, Plugin Alliance, Isotope, these make things easier, they make things faster, they give you more options, right? But, so, you know, so that's generally why I don't mind having a plugin subscription, is because I know I always have tools that it, uh, I can use, even if it takes me longer, you know, to do something with a stock plugin, I know I can still do it, uh, essentially. You know, whenever you look at something like the, the Plugin Alliance deal, which I think is probably... The, the best deal in any plugin subscription because i mean here you're paying $29.99 a month now for the mega xxl they changed the names around a little bit uh, but you end up uh in, in this deal for example you get to keep 10 plugins every year plus with uh you know over on plugin alliance you can still buy individual plugins when they come out you're not forced into a subscription right so it's i mean this, in my opinion, is the best uh, subscription plan. I've been on the Mega, I guess I'm on the Mega XXL now, since it came out. And, uh, you know, it's absolutely the best subscription out there, in my, uh, in my opinion, basically because you get to keep plugins, right? So, uh, keep, keep your favorite plugins every year up to 10 is how we're doing it now. It used to be like a 249 back in a Plugin Alliance cash where you could pick, you know, whatever you wanted. But uh, now they're doing like, you know, choose any 10 plugins. So in my opinion, it's a pretty good deal uh, subscription wise. Now, I don't know what's going to happen over here on the Waves side. You know, I, I think it's it's probably going to turn a lot of long time users off. As I was talking about, you know, if you some if you're somebody like me and you already have look at all these Waves plugins, I have like I said, I have Mercury. So I have we're into plugin alliance there. So I have every essentially every Waves plugin here. Um, plus a bunch of Abbey Road stuff, you know, all these plugins here that I now have from Mercury can no longer be updated to their latest versions. Now that's going to be a problem for, in my opinion, probably for a lot of different people who, you know, we're currently on version 14, I believe. And when version 15 comes out, I'm sure people will want to be able to use version 15. Um, but there won't be any way to. So essentially, your Mercury license is now worthless. You can't sell it anymore because you can't get, you can't re-whoop. Let's go over here uh, to the frequently asked questions. So in your subscription, just like the Plugin Alliance subscription, uh, when new plugins are released, they'll be added to, you know, one of the two bundles. Obviously, Waves Ultimate will be getting more, uh, you know, more uh, plugins as they come out. Um Studio Verse is this new thing where they have mixed chains, basically presets. Will newly released plugins be added to my subscription? Yes, they will. And that's going to be the only way that you can get them. Okay. You won't be able to buy, just straight out buy new Waves plugins. All right. Or even new versions of plugins that you already own. <laughs> okay. Yes, you'll get your plugins, your updates, and support for free. Okay, I mean, I don't know who uses support. I've never used support in over 15 years. I've never called one company ever. So I don't know how good of a deal the support is, but maybe that's just me. Uh, so Waves Creative Access is now the only way, the only way to get Waves plugins now, and that is yes, as of 27th. What was the 26th, but... Maybe we have 
24 hours left. I don't know. But uh, Waves Creative Access subscription. Okay, that's going to be the only way, folks, to get Waves plugins. Now, if you already purchased your plugins previously, you will continue to own them. But here's the rub. At the latest version you had prior to the launch of Waves Creative Access. So again, I, I actually have, I have uh, two licenses for Mercury, one on version 12, one on version 14. So now those, all of these plugins and the ones I use over on my Mac are now stuck at version 12 and stuck at version 14 for all of time, <laughs> right? So like I'll never, ever, ever be able to update those perpetual, you know, permanent licenses uh, and use the latest version. My only uh, recourse, my only, uh, the only thing I can do if I want to use the latest versions of the plugins that I actually already have, you know, that I already own, uh, the only thing I can do is to subscribe to, uh, uh, well, in my case, it'd be to subscribe to Waves Ultimate, right? That would be the only way I could use, say, version 15 plugins. And if I pay for a year at the end of, you know, that year, I don't pay for the next year. Well, guess what? I don't get to keep, again, as far as I know so far, I don't get to keep the new version 15 license. I'll go back to the version 14 license uh, that I that I actually own. So I don't know, man, it, it, it'd be, you know, when people come out with these subscriptions, they usually have to do some tinkering. You know, Avid had to do a bunch of tinkering when they came out. Uh, they had uh, lower prices. They had to give people ways to stay perpetual if they wanted to stay perpetual. You know, so this stuff, this stuff, there's kind of you know, some, there's sometimes a push and a pull with how they work. Same thing for Plugin Alliance. You know, they worked things out. They massaged things a bit. They, uh, you know, when they started out, there wasn't cash back and now there's cash back, at least for the, the, the highest uh, subscription. So maybe ways will change things. I don't know. I'm just telling you what things are for today. So, I mean, this is the state of waves plugins, uh, as of today, evaluate the plugins in demo mode, try plugins. Okay, here we go. If you wish to try the plugins without a subscription, you can install demo on the waves creative access page in waves central so that would be good this will install a demo of all waves plugins on your computer okay but uh, it's not fully functional so that is new if you don't have licenses for some of the plugins using those plugins will introduce periodic audio mutes in your session okay so apparently you can evaluate them in demo mode but demo mode is going to end up giving you audio mutes and things so you know that's just uh guess going to be how it is of course you can cancel anytime uh anytime that you want i'll be sure to link this in the description below but let's get down a little bit more here some of this stuff down here can we upgrade of course you can can you downgrade yes of course but down here questions about my perpetual non-subscription licenses so that means question about how waves has always sold plugins uh, up until today. So if you own any Waves plugins, if you've purchased any Waves plugins in the past, you have a perpetual license. Or if you've gotten a free Waves plugin in the past, you have a perpetual license, all right? So what happens to the plugin or bundle license that I own or that I purchased prior to Waves Creative Access? You continue to own them. Well, that sounds awesome at the latest version you bought or updated to prior to the launch of Waves Creative Access. So that's why I say, you know, when you own something like Mercury now, it essentially makes your investment in Mercury, um, you know, sort of almost worthless now because you will not be able to update what you already own to the latest version. Uh, the only way to, to do that would be to subscribe to Waves Creative Access, which is not necessarily a bad price. Um, but when you already own something, yeah, you know, maybe there should be like a little bit of a little bit of a lower price in there when you already own Mercury, especially when you already own two uh, two licenses for Mercury. I'm not sure why you're paying $24.99 for all the plugins you already have, you know, just to have them packaged in a new shell. Uh, you know, it would be nice to at least have the option to uh, maybe subscribe to something like this for a year and then keep, you know, you could keep that perpetual license if you already own it. That would be great. Maybe they'll include that in the future. But as of now, you know, 
again, it's, it's a good deal for new people. Maybe not a good deal if you own some of the larger bundles. You know, if you own some of the smaller bundles, gold or diamond, then again, this is still probably a pretty good deal for you. Um, you know, instead of purchasing that $29.99 plugin every single month or every couple of months, you can just do $24.99 and get, uh, you know, all 220 plus all the new ones, plus all the updates, always be on the latest version. And you're not spending any more. In fact, you're spending a little bit less um, overall. Of course, you don't have the ability to sell them, but the truth is about Waves plugins is you never really had the ability to sell them unless you were like current on your WUP. Uh, and most people wouldn't go to sell their plugins until it was out of WUP. So they end up with a bunch of old plugins that they never use anyway. So, you know, that's not much of an argument there, but, uh, you know, for some people who did sell them, I can understand that uh, they would still like to be able to sell them, but uh, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to anymore, at least as things stand today. So I still have Waves update plan coverage on all my or on my products, which I also do, at least on my version 14 stuff. Will I continue to receive updates? What happens when the coverage expires? So yes, you will continue to receive updates for version 14 plugins for the duration of your current Waves update coverage, update plan coverage. So once the coverage expires, this is the thing, folks. <laughs> this is what a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people who have been with Waves for many years, uh, they're probably not gonna like this part. Once the coverage expires, it will not be possible to renew. But hey, you can continue to use your plugin or bundle licenses on all system and, hope, uh, and host applications that are compatible with the versions you own. So, hey, if you got version 14 and maybe they uh, work on your current Mac, great. Just never upgrade your Mac ever. <laughs> okay. Don't, don't ever upgrade your OS, you know, hold back on your, on your OS just to continue to use the plugins uh, that you purchased at that version. So m my feeling is again, for people who've been with Waze for a long time, they're really not going to like this part of it here. It's, it will not be possible to renew. I think there's going to be a lot of people. And, you know, we've, we've spent literally thousands upon thousands, you know, tens of thousands of dollars uh, with waves over the years. And you're telling me now I have to subscribe just to have access to plugins I have already paid for. And I don't know, it's kind of weird, but it just seems odd to take away the ability to just keep what you have and update what you have to the latest versions, which is generally what a lot of people did. You know, there may be two or three or four versions out of date, they would eventually whoop and get the latest version and they'd be fine. I, I'm not sure why, I don't understand why you need to remove the option to buy individual plugins or, or to, to update what you already have. It, it seems sort of weird to me that there's no option to just update what you already own. You know, something like Plugin Alliance, like I said, you can still, as you can see on the page, you can still buy all, all of these individually. You know, they want you to subscribe. I think you should subscribe uh, just because it's a good deal. But uh, you can still buy just whatever you want, right? And now they have these on plugins on, uh, on other sites as well. You know, that's another thing. Um, you know, there's always be certain waves deals on like Audio Deluxe or something or even Best Service and other sites like that where they'd be a little bit less. That's not going to happen anymore, right? Uh, again, you can no longer buy individual waves plugins. You can't buy them at dealers anymore, apparently. Uh, from now on, it's just going to be subscribing directly over here at Waves. All right. So can I install just the plugins for which I own perpetual non-subscription licenses? Yes, you can install just the version 14 plugins for the license you own via the, of course, the sensor install. Uh, you can also install just the version 9 to 13. Okay. Now, here we go. <laughs> Will I be able to continue using the second license offered? with the Waves update plan. So for those who don't know, Waves generally just gives you one license whenever you buy a plugin. A lot of other places give you three. Plugin Alliance, for example, gives you three licenses. Um, I think Isotope gives you three as well. I think, or maybe it's two. But a lot of people, a lot of different, you know, plugin makers give you multiple licenses per purchase. Waves is one of the only ones that still just gives you a single license for your purchase unless you have an active WUP plan. In that case, you can have two licenses. So that means I could install my plugin on my Windows computer and my Mac, and I wouldn't have to repurchase it, right? 
but WUP has to be current and up to date. Now, as soon as WUP expires, if I don't update, if I don't uh, renew my WUP for about $350 every single year, uh, then I will no longer be able to use that second license. So since we are no longer able to purchase WUP, this, is, this could be a problem because as it says, you can continue using your second licenses uh, for the duration of your current Waves update plan coverage. Again, this <laughs> that's going to be a problem uh, for people who are relying on having two licenses um, per plugin purchase or per bundle purchased, and they simply just do the Waves update plan in order to have that second license. I think some people might have an issue uh, with some of that as well. If you're a person who always whoops your plugins every single year, this may be a little bit less, actually, the twenty four ninety nine. Uh, you know, if you're, if we go to annually here, it's a uh, two forty nine ninety nine. So you're getting a little bit more off. So it comes to even less per plugin uh, per month or per year. So two forty nine ninety nine per year all plugins, all updates. Again, if you're somebody who always whoops anyway, this is actually a better deal in general uh, because you're getting, again, the latest version. You're not having to, you know, whoop certain things. You know, you know I mean, depending on how many Waves plugins you have, um, I, have I happen to have multiples of a lot of different things. So my whoop is like, you know, four or $500 every single year. So obviously I don't, I don't do that every single year just because I just, I don't need the absolute latest version, um, you know, to change the size of a window or something. If there's nothing, you know, nothing really new added. But if you're, again, if you're whopping every year, Waves Ultimate comes to probably a little bit cheaper than what you're paying already. Of course, there's a difference between subscribing and owning. I completely understand that. But really with Waves plugins anyway, um, you know, for the past several years, I don't really think there's been much of a resale market anyway being that uh, plugins were always being marked down to $29. And as far as I remember, you had to have an active WUP plan in order to sell your plugin in the first, you know, in the first place. So many people wouldn't WUP a plugin for, you know, 10, $15 just to try to sell it when you can buy it brand new for 29, you know? So as far as the resale argument goes, it doesn't hold much water today because most people would just prefer to buy a brand new, you know, a brand new plugin. It's, you know, it doesn't make any sense to save three or four dollars on a used plugin when, again, they're always going on sale for twenty nine anyway. I, I, I don't understand why you can't just purchase what you want and also have these new plans. You know, you can still do away with gold and mercury and diamond and horizon, all that stuff. That's fine. You can do away with all that. Come to just two bundles now. But again, it doesn't make any sense to just you know not let people buy the plugins that they that they want i'm not sure why they thought that was the right way to go but apparently they did and uh you know apparently that's sort of your only only option now uh to get any of these plugins you can no longer buy them individually luckily you know luckily for me i haven't to own everything already um unluckily for me i cannot update any of them you know which uh which kind of sucks, but, uh, you know, like I said, already said, if you, if you whoop every year anyway, there's really not much difference between this subscription and the, uh, the whoop subscription. Of course, though, it, you know, it is, I understand guys, I understand it's always nice to have sort of the peace of mind that if you lose your job or you, you don't make enough money some month or something, you can keep using your plugins. I understand that, but, you know, subscriptions are the way that uh, people are going again. Again, hopefully they make some changes to this. Hopefully they have, you know, hey, subscribe for a year and you can have a perpetual license for 10 plugins or five plugins or something, um, you know. But anyway, you know, what, what, what do you think about this new move by Waves? Now I know, you know, in most YouTube videos when people go, hey guys, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Okay, they don't care what you think. They really don't. You know, they're just like, hey, I want you to hit the algorithm for me because there's more engagement to this. So, uh, you know, be sure to reply to my video. But in this case, I'm actually wondering what people who own Waves think about this. You know, I've told you what I think straight up. Listen, I'm a Waves affiliate. 
you know, I'll have my waves links in the description below, but I'm keeping it raw. We're keeping it real. We're keeping it honest, a hundred percent up in here. You know, I'm sure if waves watching this, they're not exactly ecstatic <laughs> that one of their top affiliates is saying, Hey, you know, for people who already own everything, maybe not a great deal, <laughs> you know, unless you're, unless you're a constant whopper. Listen, as I've already said, if you're a constant whopper, $24.99 is a, you're saving money, essentially. Of course, again, I understand you don't own it. That's an argument that you, we can get into, but you know, you're, you're essentially saving money because you're still using the latest and the greatest every single year anyway. And instead of paying three fifty a year to do it or whatever, whatever it is, you know, for you, uh, you're paying two forty nine. dollars um, Again, it's a good deal for, if you're brand new, as I said at the beginning, if, if you're brand new, this is a good deal for you, you know, but if you have several Waves plugins already, um, maybe not a good deal for you. Uh, and if you have a, a, if you have a modern amount of wave waves plugins, you may feel like, ah, you know, should I, do I need to do this? You know, I think where we're really going to see if this works or not is once version 15 comes out, because, you know, I'm sure most of us are at version 14 on at least the majority of our plugins. Uh, so once the new version comes out, I will, I will be interested to see what people do. You know, are people going to be subscribing to waves ultimate to get the latest version um is waves going to really you know start packing real updates into their plugins uh for the next versions you know for the 15 versions uh version 15 uh that comes out or will it just be you know basic things that you just have to have to run on a modern os you know who knows but that's that's really going to tell be the tell of whether or not this is a good move by waves or you know or not is you know once because i mean right now it would literally do nothing for me to subscribe to this uh because i already have all the waves i have every single one so subscribing right now to be on version 14 which i already own literally does nothing for me and like i said a lot of people are in that same boat so the real proof of the pudding as it were will be what happens when version 15 comes out that's going to be the real tell that's that that's where we're really going to see if this is you know, a success, if they got to tweak things, you know, we really won't know, in my opinion, we really won't know until, uh, until version 15 comes out. Uh, but anyway, you know, what do you all think of this? What do you guys think about this move by waves? Will you stop using waves plugins? Will you immediately subscribe? Um, you know, are you halfway interested? Are you not interested at all? You know, what bundles do you already own? I already told you I have, <laughs> I have, I have Mercury twice. So this for me, it's like, you know, because I mean, I mean, this, are we getting two licenses with this? I don't think we are. I think we're just getting one. So I, I guess for two licenses, I, I'd have to subscribe twice. If that is the case, I don't know. I, I should probably look more on that. Um, if that is the case, then it wouldn't be cheaper for those who use multiple, uh, multiple things. So there's currently 226. I already own all of these. So there's, nothing more i guess i should look i should probably delve in there before going down that topic uh anymore but anyway folks i will be sure to put these links in the description below I'll also put some affiliate links in the description below if you want to subscribe to waves ultimate again good deal for those who are brand new good deal for those who have a small amount of waves plugins because you can instantly have everything instead of buying that 29.99 plugin a couple times a month and slowly building up your arsenal of plugins over many, many years, which is the way I did it. You know, it took me a good, you know, seven, eight years to even have any, you know, any real number of plugins. Because again, you got to realize folks, 15 years ago, plugins were full price, you know, plugins weren't $29.99 when I started, or, you know, they were, they were $99.99. They were $3.99. They were $5.99 for like a single guitar amp plugin be like 600 bucks. It's like, man, like everything was so expensive. You know, you know, Mercury was $9,000, uh, you know, and now you can have all of that, all of it for $24.99. Of course, use it, uh, $249.99 per year. You know, if you want to do the math on that, you say two forty nine per year, um, over ten years gives you two thousand four hundred ninety dollars to use essentially Waves Mercury for ten years, versus what it used to cost of nine thousand dollars. So, you <laughs> know, in, in a way, again, depending on where you come from, like I said, depending on where you come from, where you where, when you came up, 
you're like, okay, you know, it's not that much. It's not really the point of them. The money's not necessarily the point. It's just, I don't know. I do like to have the option or at least give people the option to buy. I don't understand why you would go subscription only, but you know, for those cats out there who paid, who dropped $9,000 for Mercury and they've whopped it for the past several years, uh, I don't know if they're going to like <laughs> the news of they have to start subscribing to use their plugins on, you know, on a current OS, on a current machine. But anyway, folks, that is it. Waves has gone full subscription. What is your opinion on this? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Will you subscribe? Will you not subscribe? Which one is it? Are you upset? Are you happy? Are you generally amused? <laughs> Whatever it happens to be, leave a comment down below. Where else would you leave it? You wouldn't just write it on your monitor screen because then nobody would see it but you. Although that would be funny if you just like wrote on your screen and then somebody could see it. That's the wave of the future. Anyway, that is it, folks. Waves has gone full subscription. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. You know, it can be good. It can be bad. It really kind of depends on when you came up and how much you already own. You know, how many Waves plugins uh, you already own, how much you've already invested. In my opinion, straight up, generally a good deal for those who are brand new. Maybe not that good of a deal for those who like to sort of whop every few years. Uh, those who don't use Waves plugins on a daily basis, you know, it may not be worth it for you. In general, you know, if you came up around the time when Mercury was $9,000, uh, this doesn't seem like a huge price increase. But at the same time, it's like, I don't understand why you wouldn't just allow people to purchase the individual plugins that they want and also have, you know, have your subscription. But that's, uh, you know, that's my opinion. Leave your opinion down there in the comments below. And if you're going to pick up Waves Creative Access, of course, I'll have uh, affiliate links down there in the, uh, in the description below as well. Right. So Waves has gone full subscription. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, my opinion, we won't really know until version 15 is released.